once upon a time in the very old times when parks were destroyed and shopping malls replaced them lived a young girl by the name of Ada in the doldrums she lived in concrete <sighs> buildings craving for nature flowers birds and fish all the time strange was the times her mobile phone was her best friend she would go nowhere without it she listened to rock music on her phone while her mother neither listened to music nor went to park she was obsessed with shopping <laughs> angry with her family Ada asked why is this consumption frenzy with you angry with her the family said don't wear this t-shirt don't listen to that music and the usual call saying come on Ada to, to the, the shopping, shopping mall <laughs> something strange happened in the mall the doormat became a magic carpet. The carpet took Ada and flew her to the watermelon section. Ada's phone fell down into a cracked watermelon. Everything was petrified except Ada and the doormat. The flying doormat recurred all its power and passed Ada full speed through the crack where her phone fell. The journey after the phone dust started into the deep of the watermelon. When she separated from the flying doormat, she came across an oval. Wise is a scholar, the oval also listened to rock music. They flew together to a city made of paper. Clairvoyant and Wise the oval put a parachute at the back of Ada and put a screwdriver in her hand dropped her from the sky to the ground. Ada landed on all fours like a cat. But what a city this was. The city of people with cats at. Frightened, she asked the first cat she met. Have you seen my phone? Your phone? I have lost my wife and children. I am looking for them. They took them to a shelter without me knowing. And you ask about your phone. What will you do with your phone? While you can talk face to face? Ada was embarrassed, she said, let's look for them together. They went on and on. They passed so many cities ruined at war. They were starving when they walked into a restaurant with an entrance looking like a circumstance. Liver burger, ordered the father cat. Ada ordered tomato spaghetti, which her mother denied her when she died for it. While Ada grabbed a bite, a piece of spaghetti stuck in her throat. From her throat, she took out the spaghetti. It got longer and longer with colorful toys inside. It got longer and puppets came out. It got longer and the mother cat came out with her kittens all holding one another's tail. The father cat lost his tongue with astonishment. He grabbed his wife and the kittens joyfully. One of the kittens informed. Your mobile phone is in the windmill, right in the wheel. But how would she find the windmill? It was a thing of the past. Once upon a time in the land of Don Quixote. Ada left the restaurant and took a sailboat. She saw towns and cities that were all alike. The sailboat took her to the middle of the sea to the tree of the phoenix. The phoenix said, I was already waiting for a friend to play games with. Let's play Mangala. Mangala is a Turkish mind game and Ada was master of it. The pieces were over, the game was over and Ada was happy. The phoenix said, congratulations, you have won the game and I'm giving you my wings.
Other flew over paper forests. Trees were crying as forests were cut down. Other joined them. They chanted together. Please stop cutting down forests to make paper. Nor to build bridges, highways or shopping malls. Exhausted, desperate and unhappy, Ada left the trees. Flying aimlessly in the sky. I won't find my phone and will lose my way back home, she said to herself. She didn't notice her level was the highest floor in the sky. She was welcomed by a giant fire-breathing dragon with wings like those of a bat and armored skin. Don't be afraid, said the dragon. In the east they say dragon brings good luck. One of the twelve signs is dragon in China. Maybe it's your sign. Actually I should be living in the cave underground. But ever since nuclear tests were made underground, I escape up to the sky. You should go deep into the earth, into the cave I lived before to find the windmill. Take my skin, you might need it for the end of your story. Ada flew with her wings, swim with the skin, and reached the cave that the dragon told her about. She found the windmill which stood still. All of a sudden, Ada understood everything. This windmill is a different one. It grinds time. When my phone was stuck in the wheel, the mill stopped, and the time stopped with it. Year, month, day, hour, minute, second, None of these will exist from now on. The only way back home is me getting the phone from the mill. With the screwdriver the all gave her, she took out the phone from the wheel and the time started to move. The door of the watermelon was opened. Ada did the thing to do before going out. She threw the phone into the deep of the watermelon. She said, it had better stay there. Communication happens best when it's face to face and when one loves everybody else. When she opened her eyes, she did not have her phone in her hand. That's how she finished this joyful journey. Her mother called out to her. Ada, are you okay? Ada looked at her mother with a comforting smile. That's how this story ends. Three apples fell from the heaven. One is for the teller of this story, one for those who understand, and one for those who don't.